I move that on the next available sh sitting day, I shall move that this House, on behalf of the people of New South Wales, one, expresses its anguish at the deaths of all women murdered by men, 30 women dead in 2018, a figure known because of the heartbreaking and difficult work done by Counting Dead Women, Australia researchers of and of Destroy the Joint. Two, accepts that it is important for everybody to hear that on average one woman a week is murdered by her current or former partner, according to the most recent analysis, that one in three Australian women has experienced physical violence since the age of 15, mm. one in five Australian women has experienced sexual violence, one in four Australian women has experienced physical or sexual violence by an intimate partner, one in four Australian women has experienced emotional abuse by a current or former partner. Of those women who experience violence, more than half have children in their care. Violence against women is not limited to home or intimate relationships every year in Australia. Over 300,000 women experience violence, often sexual violence, from someone other than their partner. Eight out of ten women aged 18 to 24 were harassed on the street in the past year. There is growing violence, growing evidence that women with disabilities are more likely to experience violence and that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women experience violence at higher rates than non-Indigenous women. And that in Victoria, reports suggest that 87% of all homicides were committed by men and of all sexual assaults, 98% were committed by men, and four affirms that one death of woman by violence of a man is one too many and thus resolves to act to do more through legislation, fully funded policies and programs, independent inquiries and collective action to eliminate male violence and put an end to women having to live in fear.